what's up guys welcome back to the channel today on this video we'll be doing the integrating of polynomials right so if you think you can solve this problem you can pause this video and try to solve this problem and let's see if your answer is going to be the same as the answer that i got at the end of this video now if you're new on this channel welcome to the channel and i would like to say thank you very much guys for watching the videos subscribing to the channel and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also you hit the bell notification so that you will always be notified whenever i upload a new video all right guys so let's try to solve this problem here now before you solve this problem what you need to pay attention to is this line here this line here indicates that the terms on top here on the numerators are all divided by this x to the power of five so in order for you to solve this we need to simplify this we need to simplify so that it's going to be easy for us to integrate so let's get to it now what you should do is whenever you simplify the sigma and the dx they remain here to show that we haven't integrated yet we're only simplifying so let's do it let's do it guys let's do it so this we're gonna write our sigma here and put this on the bracket and then we gonna say 4 to the power of 3 divided by oh yes divided by this uh x to the power of 5 there we go plus remember we have plus here x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 5 minus because we have minus here 3 x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of 5 plus 1 divided by x to the power of 5 right dx do not forget the dx because this basically means we haven't integrated yet now on this step here that's where you have to use your exponent laws so you know that if the base are the same and they are dividing each other the exponent will subtract each other or add depending on the signs of the exponent all right so since we have x and x on the numerator so the exponent will subtract each other now again you don't get rid of the sigma there you keep the sigma to show that you're still simplifying so here what you're supposed to do here on this one so we have 4 divided by because we have this exponent we can say negative 5 or we can say 5 minus 3 this is going to give us x to the power of 2 right then we see plus now on the numerator it's going to be 1 and then we say uh, 5 minus 2 that is going to give us x to the power of 3 there we go and then we have the other one here which is going to be minus now because we have a coefficient here this is going to be 3 divided by x to the power of 4 plus and then this one we just leave it like that it's fine like this guys it's going to be 1 divided by x to the power of 5 and then let us not forget our dx right so when it's like this now again we cannot really integrate it we need to look at our denominators as you can see the first term it has x to the power of 2 the second term it has x to the power of 3 and then the third x to the power of 4 and the last one which is x to the power of 5 so when it's like this we cannot integrate them remember we can only integrate when x is a fraction with the power of one if it's the power of two and above we cannot integrate it in a fraction like that so we need to change this by taking our denominators to the numerator so using exponent law again when you take your when you take your denominator to the numerator the exponent of that denominator changes the sign so we still have 4 as our coefficient 
now this time around we have x to the power of negative 2 because we just took this x to the numerator so the exponent changes into negative 2 so same thing on the second term it's going to be x to the power of negative 3 and then minus 3 x to the power of uh, negative 4 plus x to the power of negative 5 and then let's not forget our dx right dx right so when it's like this now we can able to integrate these terms here by the way polynomials means that it's more than one guys more than one terms right sometimes different terms that need different rules when it comes to integration so when you look at this this is its power rule we have different type of integration we have different types of rules by the way so integrating these ones we're going to use the law we call the power rule all the rule we call the power rule just in case you don't remember because i've done the video on the power rule i'm going to show you exactly how is the formula for the power rule and again i'm gonna leave the video on the description just go to the description if you want to learn more about the power rule also the icon on top here is gonna lead you to the video where i talk about more about the power rule so let's uh, do this one so the formula that you're gonna use for power rule it goes like this it goes like sigma x to the power of n and then multiply by dx basically you have to use this basically this rule here is the one that you're going to use so when you integrate here it's going to be x to the power of n plus one divided by um n plus one plus c now this c if you don't remember basically means that we are doing indefinite integral it's a constant as well so this c indicates that we're doing indefinite integrals do not forget that either so now whenever we integrate don't forget that as you can see here the sigma and the dx is no longer there that basically means that we are integrating so it's going to be the same thing even here so i'm going to do it right here guys but before i continue let me just erase this because we're going to need space here right now let's uh continue right so here's what's gonna happen so we say y because we're integrating now and equal to y the first term here which is gonna be four right x to the power of negative two plus one so we divide it by the same negative two plus one and then we see plus going to the second term now the second term also is gonna be x and then we say negative 3 to the power of um, x to the power of negative 3 plus 1 divided by the very same power there negative 3 plus 1 and then we go to the third term say minus now the coefficient here we have 3 but we have x to the power of negative 4 plus 1 and we divide that with the negative 4 plus 1 the last term which is going to be plus and then this is going to be x to the power of 5 negative 5 plus 1 and then we do the same thing here guys we're going to do it by negative 5 plus 1 plus c don't forget c to indicate that these are indefinite integral now remember when you put plus c and y here you, you, what's going to fall off here is the sigma and the dx here that means you are actually integrating integrating right now it's time for us to simplify our find our integration as you can see now what we are left with here we're going to be left with uh, 4 and then we know that negative 2 plus 1 is going to be negative 1 divided by negative 1 this is negative 1 but we underneath them plus now we have uh, x to the power of negative 3 plus 1 which is going to give us negative 2 divided by that uh, negative 2 right so here again we're going to have negative 3 and then we have x to the power of negative 4 
plus one that's gonna give us negative three and then we divide by the same negative three here and then the last term which is gonna be x to the power of negative five plus one which is gonna give us negative four divided by that negative four plus c let us not forget plus c which indicates that we are integrating right so let's uh now rewrite this in a right manner so the best way of leaving your answer try not to leave your answer with a negative exponent it's not right so leave it with a positive exponent so when we leave the answer with a positive exponent we have to take this base with a negative exponent to the denominator which is x in this case so since we are dividing by negative so this is going to be negative 4 divided by x so this negative 1 now becomes the power of 1 on the denominator plus oh not plus not plus guys not plus almost made a mistake okay i just want to do something here what is happening here oh, no no plus guys i just want to go back oh, it's supposed to be negative because we are dividing by negative two so it's gonna be one over two remember we have two here and then we have x two to the power of two remember this two now becomes positive since this becomes on the denominator and then here look at this we have negative and negative that will give us positive then we also have three divided by three they want to give you one so we left with one on the numerator and then we have x to the power of three there we go and then when you look at this we're also dividing by negative four so we're going to have negative and then we're going to have one over four to the power of four multiplied by x to the power of four plus c to indicate that we have integrated and this is indefinite integral so guys i hope you understand what is happening here this is actually our final answer so in order for you to solve this problem it was not going to be as simple as as it look like when you are integrating directly from here you have to simplify first then after simplifying then that's where you're gonna start integrating using the power rule i hope guys this video helped you to understand this type of questions and if it did please don't forget to like the video share the video to your friend you can also comment if you really like the video and also guys do not forget to subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so that whenever i upload another video you will be able to see it. if you want to watch other videos and previous question papers you can go to the playlist and watch those videos thank you very much guys for watching till next time cheers